Hey guys, this is Daniel and welcome back to another quick update on my modeling project. Uh, so this week I worked again on lots of different things and I want to show you the 3D models at different stages and say a couple of things about them. So let's get started. Uh, in the background you have already something pretty interesting. Uh, it's some close simulation together with the sculpt at some point with color. Looks pretty cool but um, I don't plan to use this directly. It was more experimental, so let's leave it just there in the background and I'll show you a couple of different things. So you might remember this sculpt from last week. I did lots of changes, but I want to start with the very beginning, where it came from in first place. So this is what I did uh, to start the project. It's a base mesh that I then took into my sculpting software and started sculpting a little bit on and then continued working on when it turned to this here. Uh, here there are some subtle changes that you're going to see if you compare to the next one, like this one and this one, uh, which made it again more realistic, which might not be the direction I want to go into, but uh, anyways, that's what I did for now. So I added legs to, well, continue the whole project and worked on the head which might not show up so well because it's perspe a perspective view but uh, let's take a look anyways uh, you have it here in the background already uh, more or less that's it but here's the the high resolution mesh that you would see in a 3 software uh, I ended up changing a couple of uh, basic shapes in there later on but that was uh, the head one itself so here is now my first fully, well, everything integrated model except for the hands, w which I did not truly really work on at that point. Uh, I tried also, as I said here in the background, to give her hair and clothes and just try to merge it and see how it would look. Uh, because like what I noticed seeing this here is that the, the proportions with the white shoulders, uh, with a very realistic style, uh, would give it this kind of look. So, I mean, it's nothing bad, it's just something that I, I like to know uh, for consideration. Um, so, not sure how I'm going to end up doing it in the end yet, but um, instead I went back and worked just on the body to finish it first, uh, because I want to take a different approach to uh, instead rig the, the, well, the body and then pose it and then work from there to create hair and um, and cloth to really make it fit the pose. But anyways, here is now uh, a really exciting part again. This is the finished body of the character. I also adjusted some poses. I also have the hand and uh, some details. The face has also some changes. Um, and it is, well, retopologized. So, um, it has already, even though it's here, it, I tried to preserve as, as many details as possible. Uh, there are some more versions that I've generated that are really low poly and this one you could actually use for a game. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. Like Maybe you could reduce it a bit more, but it's it works. I mean, for the main area where there's lots of wasted topology and things like that, we would have cloth anyways, so that would be edited and disappear. Ah, uh, but well, that's about it. And maybe one more thing that I can show you is another sketch that I made. Um, so I, I said I want to, to work on the head because this didn't really satisfy me last week. So I did, but that was not so good either. Uh, so this week I did it again and this time I'm happy with it, kind of. Um, she definitely does not look like 10 year old girl or something uh, it's not totally different and I like it this way um, that's where I'm going to start working from or did already uh, I think it also technically aligns pretty good with the side view um, but that's more or less it um, that's everything I have for this week thank you for watching as always and I'll see you next time